today I'm going to show you how to update your DJI Phantom 3 professional and advanced. So uh, to start off you're going to DJI.com you're gonna click products Phantom Phantom 3 series then you go to downloads over here you um, basically here you have the file for the professional and here the file for your fast so you download this and yeah well you can download it if you want extra information for how to update it but I don't think it's necessary if you use this video um, well then you download the file it may take a while 42 MB um, then you, you're gonna take your USB adapter and yeah put that in your PC so right here I have my USB adapter put it in my PC <coughs> then what you want to do is open the zip file you got you download it you're gonna open it. Um, you will need WinRAR or WinZip, 7-Zip, doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to this, uh, yeah, in this file, and you're gonna want to extract these two files to your um, destination folder, and that is the is USB adapter. Um, and basically when you did that you're done with the PC part and it will um, it will be ready to update um, so when you finish the PC part you can begin with updating the drone here we are updating the drone um, when you take the SD card out of your PC, make sure your drone is off. Then put the SD card in your drone. Um, make sure the battery is 50% or more. And then you can turn on your Phantom. And also make sure your remote control is off. Um, oh yeah, then you can turn your drone on. Lights will be flashing and it's just normal. And eventually, this light over here will be red and green, which means it's updating. Um, I put the drone over here because I heard a really weird ticking sound in the video. So, the drone is over there updating, flashing lights and stuff. Um, while the drone is updating, we can go on for the remote control updater. Um, basically it's just the same file as you used for the, for the drone itself you can put it on the USB stick uh, put it in your PC yeah like that um, then we're gonna do this just the same I think it's the in my download folder let's see Right here, just the same process as before. Just gonna take these two, extract them to, extract them to this one. Give it some time, and then take your remote control. Make sure it was also about fifty percent battery life. So this is done. Um, yeah, well then we can take the USB out. Put it in your Phantom controller like that. And then you can turn this one on also. You gotta wait 60 seconds for the update to begin. 
you can already tell it's doing something different but you see it's using the USB stick right now this one's beeping also so now I've got two beeping electronics in my bedroom um, well basically this is it um, we're gonna wait until the update finishes and uh, then we're ready to fly I guess So when the update is complete, you can turn both devices off, take the SD card and USB card out, and um, well, basically then you're ready to go. Um, as you can see, the lights flashing um, safe to fly without GPS, and the remote controls also good. Um, I checked it with the app, and it said version one point. To six, so that's also good. If you want to know for sure the update was a success, then you take the SD card out of your drone and uh, put it in your adapter. You put it in your PC, then you're gonna open it up you get this file over here it said p3xfw result open that one up and then it should say result success well that means you're done um, also with the USB from the controller Same story, put it in, check on it, and it says P3FWGS log, you open that, one, open that one up, and it says success at the end, it's good. So basically that is how to update your DJI Phantom 3 and DJI Phantom 3 controller. I uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, uh, if you learned something, please like this video, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later I guess.